He stalks his prey for hours. Tonight, six cold cases solved. A man who stalks South Florida apartment complexes at night, armed with a knife, looking for young, single, attractive women living alone. After 40 years without answers, police say they've linked the so-called pillowcase rapist to a series of assaults in Broward County. Back in the 80s, Robert Kohler uh, committed anywhere between 40 to 45 sexual batteries throughout Miami-Dade and Broward County. On at least eight occasions, police say Kohler snuck into homes through unlocked doors and attacked his victims while they slept or got ready for bed. He asked me then to grab a pillow on my bed, put it over my face and roll over on my back. I did that and he then proceeded to rape me. He got his nickname from covering his victims' heads with pillowcases before raping, robbing, and threatening to kill them. The Broward County Sheriff's Office releasing these interviews they did with his alleged victims, keeping some information about them anonymous. He went through my wallet. He knew where I lived. He knew my name. I didn't know him. This guy's a, a, a horrible, evil dangerous predator. According to police, Kohler carried out his attacks with diabolical precision. He did say to me, I've been following you. But thanks to DNA technology and one sergeant's hunch, police say they now have their man. In 2019, Sergeant Cammie Floyd started digging through thousands of cases from the 80s. Then, early the next year, prosecutors in Miami-Dade announced the arrest of Robert Kohler for sexual battery with a deadly weapon in that county. I'm not guilty. Identifying him as the infamous pillowcase rapist. So you were arrested pursuant to the arrest warrant charging you with two counts of sexual battery? Sergeant Floyd had a hunch that some of her cold cases had a similar M.O. His DNA was tested against the Broward County evidence, and it was a match. Uh, Robert Kohler's DNA matches the DNA from every one of our victims. Kohler is now 68 years old and is in custody in Miami-Dade. It's expected that he'll be brought back to Broward to face the new charges. We reached out to Kohler's public defender. They declined to comment. As for the survivors... He deserves to be put away and never come out. I mean, why should he be walking around? <laughs> made me feel like it was worth it and to a degree that my life could make a difference. And all these years of going through terrible stuff could make a difference. And Stephen Romo joins us now in studio. So Stephen, officials are saying there could be even more victims out there? Yeah, one of the many disturbing things about this case, they say there could be as many as 25 victims, 25 cases they're looking into between 1981 and 1986. They're asking anyone with any information about that to come forward to Miami-Dade or Broward County officials. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.